Hey guys, Good Marks Goods here, and today we're going to take a look at this interesting quadruple plated ball by the relatively lesser known silver plating manufacturing firm, Beacon Silver Co. And that's what it says on the bottom here it says Beacon Silver Co. Quadruple plate Taunton Mass. To up into the 1930s, then the industry kind of kind of starts to dying off right about that time. Plus World War II, they had a little bit more of a little bit more of a push, but by then the uh, cost of domestic production and cheaper imports from the rest of the world and other other. Uh, Competition from like porcelain and plastics and stuff. That those kind of things, stainless steel, they kind of started eating more and more silver plate market share. But back in the day, during the heyday, there were plenty of uh, firms in Taunton Mass. Now I've only seen, actually I don't recall seeing um, any anything made by this particular company, Beacon. But I'm sure I've, I've seen it before, it just isn't, it just didn't stick. And I certainly didn't find anything this memorable, because if, if I had seen this, something as memorable as this ball, then I probably would have remembered uh, Beacon. But anyway, the subject matter is a uh, squirrel, and definitely a very cute squirrel, it looks like it's holding an acorn. <laughs> the bowl here. So, it's got a couple, couple condition issues. And that's, it's not a huge deal, I'm going to explain why. So we got some plate loss around here. Not too bad um, on the bottom, a little bit right here. Some around the, the rim here, the edge. Any, anywhere we're seeing that silvery here, that's actually base metal. The, the actual silver is the tarnished black. As, as funny as that sounds, I do believe. Yeah, that that makes sense, more sense to me. But maybe maybe it is silver, and I'm not 100% sure about it. But I, for now, I'm basing this off this area of this plate loss, and the inside also has a lot of missing plate as well. We're seeing a very nice base metal, though. It it appears to be brass, probably. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, what else to say about this bowl? It's, it's in fantastic condition overall, and the plate loss is, is not a huge deal because these are very old antiques, and quadruple plate, you know, it's been around for at least, ooh, they stopped using the, the term quadruple plate really early on. According to silvercollection.it, which is one of my favorite resources for um, information about Ma manufacturers, they say Beacon was a trademark of F.B. Rogers. And, uh, yeah, quadruple plate probably stopped being used around the 30s, was what I would estimate. Probably even sooner than that. Early on, they stopped using the, the term quadruple plate. It's You see that more in antiques than anything else. So, it definitely, quadruple plate indicates a an older piece. Now, the subject matter is also very timeless. Who wouldn't want to own this piece? So, even though Beacon might not be the strongest maker there ever, there is, I'd still expect mm, $100, $120 for this bowl. And if I can't get what I'm asking for, I'd rather keep it in my collection. Cheers to that. Maybe you could even put, maybe you could even drink out of this. That kind of reminds me almost of a, of a goblet if I had a thirstier appetite than I do. But yeah, I guess I could put nuts in it. <laughs> what can I say? It's, it's cute. It's cute. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Good marks goes out.